What up? Hey, everyone. <laughs> All right. All right. We're, We're back. back. I got a quick gay update. All right. Tammy Baldwin, gay winner. Jared Polis, gay winner. Winner. First, First gay governor. How dare you take this from me? <laughs> you just asked out there what he was going to be governor of. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep track of all these successful gay politicians. So, so I get to at least Harvey say Milk. it's Colorado. Gay. Jared Polis will become the first openly gay man to be the governor of a state in the United States of America, which is honestly a title. What? Elected. Elected. I guess James somebody, McGreevy. Did somebody say, oh, James McGreevy. Uh, he, oh, you know what? Remember when James McGreevy was like, I'm a gay Leo. American, as if just being gay wasn't good enough? <laughs> anyway, why think about that when Jared Polis is going to be a gay governor? Y'all doing a stream? We're doing a stream. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy Baldwin won. Tammy Baldwin won. We covered that Sharon in a gay Brown. update. <laughs> So we sign off. Some other gay news. Travis, I'm out of you got baking for show. <laughs> I don't have any more baking show to watch. You're saying yeah. that we should bring a measure of nuance to political analysis. That's what I'm doing, except on the gay stuff, which has been 100% positive. Uh, <laughs> Congrats to Governor Jared Polis, wherever you're governor. <laughs> I, again, again, oh, despite some fake news, I knew it was Colorado. I know where Jared Polis is from. I'm 100% sure I wasn't confusing him with Mark Pocan. So, I mean, <laughs> Another gay congressman. <laughs> Now for a few more minutes of gay news. No, I'm done. I'm out. We make Michigan much more democratic after eight years. Democratic small d, which has the added value of also leading to democratic big D, because mm -hmm. we do better when people vote. Do we talk about we're fighting Davis, for the big the D, guys? <laughs> That's what we're fighting for. Don't ever forget what this election's all about. Little D's it's are fine. It's about the small D <laughs> on our way to the big D. All right, and that's another edition of Gay News. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure we had that. Yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna get some more pizza. Right. <laughs> hey, California, you got 30 minutes. So get in line and stay in line if you're not yet in line. Okay, goodbye. Now for some some gay news. <laughs> Tommy, what do you have to say? We're past halfway. Come Called join races. us. That looks good. I just love it. Special pizza. <gasps> I'm very mad if anyone else takes out. <laughs> oh no, he's in the room! <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for another edition of Gay News. Some new, some very important gay updates. I'm John Lovett, the gay one. <laughs> Jennifer Webb becomes the first LGBTQ woman to serve in the Florida State Legislature. Malcolm Kenyatta, the first LGBT black man in the Pennsylvania State Legislature. We're looking ahead to see what happens uh, with that cinema race. And again, Jared Polis becomes the first openly gay man to be elected governor. And that's in Colorado, which again, is something I knew. I knew where he was running, and I knew before John told me. Um, some other gay news. Uh, I'm still hearing a lot of bad feedback about this Bohemian Rhapsody movie, honestly. And you know, you know who's making me th Guy Branham, all right, who is the Tom Brokaw of gay news, <laughs> has said the same. Any other gay topics? I think there's some LGBT look-aheads you could do. Um, Kate, oh, and uh, Katie uh, uh, Hill is Ka is bisexual. Yeah, <laughs> Katie Hill. A gay candidate who has a Davis. real shot in California, Kim Davis, uh, that that county clerk uh, with the with uh, the the hair and the glasses and the anti-gay bias, uh, sounds like she's gonna lose. So that's exciting. What else you got, Travis? I'm just crushing straight whiskey now. Uh, um, Sean Hayes, Sean Hayes, he's out there. <laughs> Will and Grace still what happening. What is this live stream um, Hey, another piece of gay news out Control there. Control of the house is on the line. Kelsey Grammer, okay? He's talking about a Frasier reboot. He's talking about David Hyde Pierce coming back. That's, in a way, gay news. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, recent Medal of, uh, Medal of Freedom recipient from President Obama back All when right, they had a good VA2. president. called VA2. Elaine Luria claims victory in VA2. That was a toss-up. Hey, that John. Was... You're sort of interrupting gay news. Yeah, no, I, I'm just trying to talk about political news now since we got to Sean Hayes. Mm. <laughs> Love it's, Love it's body go back to is political. Who are gay, I think we should. Any other gay politicians? Well, mm. that we that we know of. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Guys, uh, thanks so much for watching us on Instagram while you're online at Chipotle or whatever it is you're doing. And uh, that's it for gay news. We'll be back with uh, more gay news. In a bit. Everyone, Talk uh, to you soon. yeah, go to bed and uh, get to work tomorrow. So just go a few more minutes of gay news. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> we're done. We're done. <laughs> Bye, everyone. In honor of Pride Month, can we have a current edition of Gay News? Oh, God. Gay News. Gay, it's gay been news a while. Gay so News. Long. Been a minute. I don't uh, remember how it goes. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Gay News. The Tonys <laughs> happened. Beep, 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 beep. Gay News. <laughs> Big Little Lies returns <laughs> <laughs> for season two. You know what I'll say about this? <gasps> because it is, a, it is gay news. You, just, you say to me that they're bringing back Big Little... Did I say Pretty Little Lies? No, you said I Pretty. said Big Little Lies. Yeah. You tell me they're bringing back Big Little Lies. I tell you, what that story's been told. It had a beginning, it had a middle, it had an end. But then you tell me Meryl Streep is going to be there. And I say, okay, I'll check it out. And you Can know you what? Watch? I'm glad I did. Because in many respects, it is a zombie show. It is a zombie show that has gone on beyond the end of itself. However, I love seeing my friends... I love seeing Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon, Witherspoon and Laura Dern. And I'll tell you what else I love. I love Meryl Streep basically existing in that first episode to give three incredible monologues. <laughs> One of which was like very sad and hard to watch. And it was a serious thing. And I thought they handled, I, you know, was, there's real stuff there. And she's an incredible actress. But those two vicious monologues in the first part of that show, both directed at <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. The second one, as an apology, so made iconic. me so happy, so glad Big Little Guys is back. <laughs> Big Little Lies is back. <laughs> That's this week's edition of Gay News. Beep, 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 beep. That was beep. really good. Beautiful. I haven't seen the first season. Ugh. Worth it. Get Coming up it. at the Straight Pride Parade, Tommy hasn't seen, <laughs> hasn't seen Big Little Lies. Listen, listen. We're talking Tom Brady. <laughs> talking. Sorry. Continue. Louder with Tommy hasn't seen. A, <laughs> hasn't seen Big Little Lies. All right. Um, I only know when the World Cup is happening based on angry tweets about whether or not uh, people are talking about the World Cup correctly. Um, so I really caught up today. Uh, I think that they should be paid the same amount, and I think they should score the the most goals possible. And uh, I think when they score a goal, uh, they should do whatever they want that they feel good about. Um, football dances in the end zone are my favorite part. Mm. I'm pro celebration. Beep, 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 gay news. <laughs> <laughs>